So with everything going on in Arizona right now where the Coyotes have been rejected by multiple cities and being on life support, not even knowing if they're going to exist in a couple years, to having beer league level dressing rooms and having to share your own center ice logo in your home rink, and then people look over at Quebec City who pack the streets for a junior hockey game, Quebec Ramparts watch party. They've shown incredible passion for bringing back the Quebec Nordiques and they have a state-of-the-art arena that's ready to go and has been for years. So I just see a lot of fans who are just sick to their stomachs seeing the NHL bend over backwards and go in circle after circle to try to keep the Coyotes alive when they have a franchise in waiting that would be incredibly passionate and lucrative. And I totally get that. My dad is one of them. He grew up cheering for the Quebec Nordiques. He wants them back more than anything. Anytime a team like Ottawa, Florida, uh, Arizona struggles, he's like, why don't they just move this team to Quebec? It would be perfect. This is such a joke. And again, I understand that on the surface, right? You walk down Quebec City streets, you'll see so many Nordique stuff in every single gift shop. And Nordiques fans, remember, I want them back really badly. I'm not saying this because I don't want them to come back. It's just that there is a reality aspect here that's really tough to overcome. Shannon the Hockey Guy has made some really awesome videos about this topic. Actually, he has an entire playlist about this, so go check those out. They're awesome. But first of all, the exchange rate from American dollar to Canadian dollar is just crazy right now, and it really makes it so tough for anybody in the NHL to want to move it team to Canada. Especially when you see how teams like Vegas and Seattle have been thriving since joining the league. Which brings me to my next point. Yes, there are a bunch of Nordiques fans who would love to have that team back, but a lot of those fans have either become or were already Montreal Canadiens fans. They own the province of Quebec. All of Quebec are Montreal Canadiens fans, more or less. So there's going to be a few like, no, I'm a Bruins fan, but you know what I mean. In the general sense, all of Quebec are Habs fans. So from the NHL's perspective, why would they split that up? It's like the Blue Jays in baseball or the Raptors in basketball. Canada's team. Montreal is Quebec's team. So from their perspective, we want to create new fans. Why would you want to split them when they're already giving us a bunch of money? We know that you're already hockey fans and you're going to spend money on your fancy Nick Suzuki jersey, we want to go to Houston and make a Rockets fan or an Astros fan want to buy a hockey jersey and want to go to a game. And I personally hate this example, but it gets brought up every time for some reason that Quebec City is an expansion talks. Well, if there was no team in Arizona, we wouldn't have Austin Matthews. And it's like, yeah, okay, I guess... Because apparently Austin grew up a gigantic Coyotes fan and that's what made him want to play hockey and now he's the face of one of the biggest franchises in all of hockey. But that example is so tired because how do you know that the next big hockey star isn't going to become a hockey star because he grew up going to Nordiques games in Quebec City. But I guess from the point of view of creating a hockey fan where there otherwise wouldn't have been one, I get it from a business perspective. So as sickening as it is for fans and honestly not just Quebec fans, I've had like Dallas Stars fans or Nashville Predators fans talk to me and be like, man, I can't believe all this stuff is happening to Arizona and Quebec doesn't have a team. It's a joke. And I get it. It's frustrating when the Quebec Remparts can get uh, fans up and down the street in Quebec City and Arizona's floundering like this. I understand, but it's just not in the plans right now. It just doesn't work. There's too many big obstacles there that Gary's not going to move on. He'd rather go see if he can get a team in San Diego or in Salt Lake City. But again, if they do ever somehow miraculously get a team, first of all, Alain, we got to go check that out. We need to if that happens. Bucket list. And second of all, I don't know how, I don't know why, I just feel like they would make it work and I feel like they would be such a powerhouse NHL franchise, maybe because the fans would be so grateful to have their team again and they would do anything not to lose it again. I just feel like it would work and I think it would be pure magic and I think that market would be bananas in a good way. I just think it would work. Let me know what you think about this in the comments down below. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.